Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is the 22nd tutorial of the Linux tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about changing the ownership and changing the group of a particular file or a directory. Now, what are these things? So when you create a file, by default, you are the owner of the file. What if you want to change the ownership of a particular file? So let's see. First, we'll add some demo users here. User user add demo one okay let's become a super let's become a super user and then we'll try the same thing user add demo one this user got added now we will create a file called touch or uh, let's try to exit we are back to student let's touch a file called test test file called ls minus lt test whose owner is student and the group is student now we want to change the owner of this particular file to newly created user called demo1 so let's become a super user because many of the permissions are not available to student we'll see the permission for this particular file is minus l ls minus lt called test still student student we'll say change owner that is chown command to demo1 which file that is test file cool now let's try the old command ls minus lt test now the owner is student one but the group still remains student so using ch own command we change the ownership of this particular file what if we want to change the group of a particular file like here we have group is still student we want to change the group of this particular file so another command is called ch grp change group then what group you want to assign we want to assign demo one to which file to the test file all right now you if you do ls minus lt on test you see that the group of this particular file is changed from student to demo one so this is how you change the ownership of a particular file or change the group of a particular file you can do both these things in one go how let's let me show you let's become a uh, student again let's create a file called test2 now the owner is student and the group is also student let's again become a super user now let's try to change the owner and the group of this particular file in one go how we can do that it's pretty simple we can do that by typing command c h o w n to demo one colon demo one to which file test two all right now let's see what test 2 looks like so owner is changed to demo 1 and group is also changed to demo 1 though it was student and student so even by trying with the command ch own you can change the group also how it's possible let's try become super user once again let's restore ownership or the group ownership of this particular file test 2 to student so we'll type chown and then space and a colon and then student to which file test 2 cool now let's see how it looks like all right the owner remains demo 1 but the group 
is changed from demo1 to student. So even by using the command chown, you can change the ownership as well as the group ownership. So chown is very important command. If you want to know more about chown command or chgrp command, I recommend you go and play around with these commands and always write chown minus minus help to know what are the different different features are available with this command you can also type chgrp minus minus help and see the different options available with change group command so i hope you learned something good in this tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming tutorial in future thanks a lot for watching guys